to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two from the matches. I, I think it's the 28th we're on. Second set from August 28th, upper England. We have Eagle Burger, aka Machine USA. That's Machine USA on Twitch TV. Uh, he is going to be the Teal Zerg. Bottom left hand corner, we have Striker as the Yellow Zerg. This is on Eclipse. And the previous match between these two, which was, what, two games ago? So, <laughs> so Machine played Striker. Ended up losing in kind of a macro situation where Striker was able to get some of those sport colonies down. Then you had that epic game with Raz. And now we're right back to Machine versus Striker. And I'm hoping it's going to be another interesting ZVZ. Have to keep an eye on both of these guys. Again, I don't know where Machine ZVZ is at these days. But previously it was his weakest matchup. But that was a long time ago. And it may have drastically improved since then. Particularly because... It's become more of a macro matchup. Although even in the space of a macro matchup, it's more about finding the little instances and decision making. And in the previous ZVZ that we saw, Striker just had that sixth sense. And that's one thing with Striker is, is he seems to know when to, and I think this is kind of goes into his general play style. He seems to know where those windows are. And I and I think that's in all the matchups. He just seems to find the windows where he can defend, sneak his economy, and assail his opponent. And that I'm not sure if that's an aspect of his pl a play overall or something that's outcropped from one of his particular matchups. It looks like we are going to see an overpool from Machine. Well, 12th pool, technically, um, from Machine. And opposite corner, we are seeing it looks like the same build. Overlord's going to cross each other. Overlord's in the night. Um, so 12th pool on both sides. Uh, gas being grabbed, both corners. So it's going to be identical builds at least as an opener. We'll see if there's any variation in Zergling speed or Zerglings produced between the two of them. In these situations, it comes down to just straight micromanagement and who's able to execute um, just a little bit faster. Both players, yeah, and it's actually dead even. Looks like Striker got a little bit more minerals. So he's going to have that hatchery down just a sliver of a second earlier. I don't think that's going to make a huge difference, though. But yeah, identical builds at least initially. Sometimes it can come down to who decides to take the initiative. It looks like two Zerglings produce and so three grouping of Zerglings both ends. They're going to meet in the middle. I almost wonder if multitasking, well, we'll see if multitasking is going to be the thing that makes the difference. If you can split some Zerglings off, if they get better concavity, if, if they realize that they're identical builds faster, Right now, it looks like Machine has grouped up his Zerglings a little bit tighter. He's opting to go ahead and play a little bit more defensively initially. This Overlord starting to wander down. I think he saw these Zerglings making their way across. Going ahead and blockading. I like this. Going ahead and creating a defensive blockade, which provides concavity and everything else. As Striker moves in, I think he's got to see that he's going up against a mirror build. And going ahead and backing off. Machine turning around and getting aggressive. So that's eight Zerglings on the ground. This is what I like right here. This is what I'm talking about. Two Zerglings sneaking out for Striker to the north. Looks like they're going to be able to wander in the main. Machine initially engaging these two Zerglings. But with these two Zerglings inside Machine's base, that's got to be... I'm going to give a little bit of an advantage. Machine doing a great job of boxing them out, actually. Walking back and forth. Both of them have speed. And it looks like he is going to be able to wipe out both Zerglings. A little bit of economic disruption, but honestly not much. Machine currently one drone behind. Wandered into that natural expansion. That forced three drones off for Striker to go ahead and provide some defense right there. So Machine with a slight supply lead. And that is in Zerglings currently. Layer is going to finish in not too long. It looks like Striker's layer out just a sliver of a second earlier. Striker with his... Actually keeping a drone in there. So keep in mind he's down a drone. Finally repositioning it to the... Natural expansion mineral line. As he's got kind of the... I don't know want to want to call this a magical line, but kind of like a trench warfare, but with Zerglings at this stage. So you got 12 Zerglings staring down what looks like there's a 4 Zergling advantage for Striker. More Zerglings are making their way down for Machine. So he wants to get it done. So there's the Spire building here. There's the Spire building there. Machine looks like he wants to be the aggressor with the Zerglings before that happens, though. So diving down, engaging, Striker stepping... A half step back, and I think that's going to give better concavity to Machine. We'll have to see as this plays out. Keep in mind, there are closer reinforcement points. Actually able to get on top of that drone line. One Zergling actually able to wander in the main, and now Machine taking a big lead. Because, first of all, disrupting... 
disrupting a lot of mining at that natural expansion. That is going to give him the room. He's also got a one drone lead overall. And keep in mind, these two drones have not been mining this entire time. And that is going to turn into more Mutalisks as far as a follow-up. Striker also building a lot of Zerglings to follow this up. He's got a full control, full control group plus one, it looks like. Machine regrouping with it looks like eight Zerglings. He needs to be careful that he doesn't just donate some Zerglings in midfield. He's up two drones currently. That Spire is going to finish. See if the Mutalists get built. Striker trying to get aggressive to counter this. So will these Zerglings from Striker be able to go ahead and even things up and maybe even get some economic damage done in machine space before these Mutalists pop? And I don't think that's going to be the case. Striker pressing forward. Kind of the Zergling dance-off at the front. It's like the deadliest dance-off of all time, right? They talk about dance-off. You know, usually it's for pride. But in this instance... In this instance... <laughs> it's for blood. Striker getting his initial Mutalisks built. Looks like he's got two Mutalisks out in the air. Three Mutalisks there for Machine. They're starting to fly forward. They maybe want to try to get a Lucky Overlord. We'll see. Additional Mutalisks going to be grouped up. And, and right now, Striker actually might end up with the advantage just because these Zerglings are a little bit too far forward and they don't have the protection of the Mutalisks of Machine. Machine behind a drone all of a sudden. Ahead in supply overall. And this is what I was talking about where Striker just seems to find these little pockets to go ahead and get these small leads. Machine now up to Extractor being built. Critically though, Machine's Extractor looks like it's been up for a longer period of time. So he's been mining off double gas, which eventually does turn into superior Mutalisks. Striker with the five Mutalisks hanging out there. A single Zergling going ahead and checking that 12 o'clock location, just in case. It might be able to swing around and if it can swing out and get some disruption, that could be, even just that little bit, can be the difference in these matches. Machine holding the mid-game. It looks like he was looking for an Overlord to go ahead and assail and pick off. Not finding anything, though. So both players, once again, playing in the dark. Machine up a single drone. Things even otherwise. A little bit more gas has been in Machine's favor. I want to go ahead and get a look at the Mutalisk count. It looks like there's eight Mutalisks here. Only six and some Scourge joining. So if these Scourge can go ahead and box these Mutalisks out and engage from there, they have to land, though, for Machine to get the better part of this engagement. The Zergling's going to go ahead and group up as well. The Mutalisks diving in. The Scourge not leading. Now the Scourge engaging. Striker doing some nice micromanagement. The Zerglings, however, are open and free. However, it looks like they're just confused and not attack moving. Machine, keep in mind, has fewer Mutalisks overall in this engagement. He's going to rely on the Scourge to get it done. But he's wiped out several drones. So Stryker now down to 12 drones. The Zergling's going ahead and exiting. But Stryker is standing with a much superior Mutalisk army at the end of that battle. He is up to nine Mutalisks. Machine's still sitting at four. Six if you count the two that are hanging out in his back, uh, back of his base. But Machine up to 15 drones overall. Stryker pressing forward. He's got some Scourge of his own. And I don't know that Machine has enough to defend this. He's trying to get an Evolution Chamber down. He has five Mutalisks at his main. It looks like he's going to regroup here. Let's see if Machine can re-micro against this. Some Overlords exposed. Striker ignoring all of that. Wants to do full cell engage. Now it's Machine's turn. A lot of those Scourge landing this time. And the fight looks like it is going to happen over the drone line. And I think Striker got the better part of this. So Machine's going to have to buy some time to get that Spore Colony up. Trying to run away from the Scourge and Striker finding the window with the superior Mutalisk count. And I think that might be it. Spore Colony spawns. Eight Mutalisks there. Machine does have the closer reinforcement point. More Scourge moving up so they can dive into that Mutalisk and wipe it out. And it looks like that Spore Colony's down. And that is going to be GG. Great play from Striker to close that out. Knew he had the superior Mutalisk. Dove in and just doing a fantastic job. Diving in and doing what it needed to be done to win that match. Great play from him. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.